a quick video to show you how to compare two lists and highlight the items that you have in common. For instance, let's say, let's say this is a list of the cities that Mark is going to visit uh, during a trip around the USA. And this is, this is a list of the cities that John is going to visit. And we were just wondering if they're going to be able to meet up anywhere. Uh, if they have a city they're going to visit in common. So something like this. As you can see, you have a list here, you have a list there, and this particular one we are showing the ones that belong to both lists. So Detroit is on it, Chicago is on it, Los Angeles is on it, up here, and New York is on it. All the other ones do not be belong only to one of the list. They're not in common. So how do we get to this final uh, formatting that highlights in a very easy and graphic way uh, the cities that you're interested in. Uh, we start from the original and what we want to do, we want to utilize a condi conditional formatting uh, uh, function whereby we select here in conditional formatting you create a new rule and then here you have a number of options on how to create a new rule. I want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. This particular formula is count if and what we want to do is count uh, this particular range which is the first list um, that we are considering and see if this particular value containing C4, the Chicago value, is present in the first list, in the first range. Because we want to copy and paste the formula later in all the other ones, we want to have this C4 relative. There you go. So we then close it and we put maximum more than zero. So if the formula works out that Chicago is in both at least the values of this calculation will be more than zero, hence it will then format. And we choose to format, for instance, we'll put the fill at red and we want the font in white, just to make it a bit easier, maybe even bold. So then we click OK and there you go. So then you need Chicago's highlighter because it belongs both to the list of cities that Mark will visit and the list of cities that John will visit. So then it's just a case of doing a copy, paste, special, and just the formats, and there you go. These are the four cities that belong to both lists of cities that the two guys are going to visit and then could potentially can hook up. So basically you can change the itinerary, just making sure that you're in the same place at the same time. You can use obviously this um, kind of conditional formatting combined to a formula uh, with the list that are much longer, thereby helping you uh, realize which uh, are the values that you really are interested in.